This week on Rush Outdoors, we head to Citrus County, Florida for some unfinished business. Then it's the not-so-flattering side of hunting with Swing and a Miss. And of course, member footage with Rush Uncut. It's time for Rush Outdoors! Your outfitters for the great outdoors. Closed captioning for Rush Outdoors is brought to you by Checkpoint Graphics of Watertown. Hi everyone, welcome to Rush Outdoors. I'm Realtree Pro Shaper Tim Andrus. Today I'm at Herb Philipson's in Newark, New York. Herb Philipson's is your one-stop shop for all your outdoor needs. And with eight locations and growing, it's no wonder why they're New York State's largest outdoor retailer. If you've been watching Rush Outdoors for any time now, you know how much we love Citrus County, Florida. And after the winters we've been having, we really do appreciate those warm breezes, the palm trees, and the crystal clear water. And for White Ike's Vice President John Lennox, there's one more attraction, Big Gators. The one dream hunt that I've always had is chasing alligators. And in 2013, Norm Whiteman and I had an opportunity to head to Citrus County, Florida to do just that. Well, as Murphy's Law often does, it threw a monkey wrench into our 2013 trip. We missed flights leaving New York and uh, got into Florida real late but we were still able to get a couple days on the water chasing alligators. And as much as I'd like to say we were successful in, in bringing home a critter, the reality is that there were just a lot of things that seemed to be going against us on that trip. Um, you know, we had missed shots, uh, we, had, we had equipment malfunctions, and, you know, to really top it off, it, it wasn't real fair to the outfitter because we only had two days to get it done. But in as much as that trip uh, was a struggle for us, um, the reality is we discovered some fantastic friends down in Citrus County, Florida at the Citrus County Convention and Visitors Bureau. And, you know, as we progressed through the fall into last winter, you know, our thoughts were never that far from Citrus County where, you know, you get to enjoy everything that Florida has to offer, the palm trees, the warm breezes, the water, the beach, and then you throw in on top of that the opportunity to chase alligators, and you can rest assured we were planning again for 2014. Well, make no mistake about it, anticipation was high. The day finally got here in September. Uh, Ken and I met up at the Rochester International Airport, and before you knew it, we were on a plane headed to Citrus County, Florida. Ready to go. You know, after a long day of travel, when you're getting ready to spend nights chasing alligators, it's just wonderful to know that you've got a place to come back and rest your head that's comfortable and quiet. And uh, believe me when I tell you, the plantation was all of that. Hi, I'm Troy Landry from Swamp People. We had the New York Sportsman's Expo, and we're having a wonderful time. We got a lot of fans that came out to see us today. And you're watching Watch Outdoors. Rush, shoot them, rush. If you love to fish or hunt, you're going to love shopping at Herb Philipson's. For all of your fishing and hunting gear, whatever the season, it's the reason to shop Herb Philipson's. Pick up all the latest in fishing rods and reels, guns, ammo, and all the accessories you'll ever need for your next hunting or fishing adventure. Remember, we've got it. 
and you'll get it all at Herb Phillipson's. Low price fighter prices and more. There's a Herb Phillipson's location near you. Located in the lush farmlands of western New York, Orleans County offers some of the very best fly fishing opportunities in the country. From golden brown trout and acrobatic steelhead to powerful Chinook, Coho, and Atlantic salmon, fishing prospects abound in the fall and winter. Whether you fish Oak Orchard or one of our other tributaries, you'll find uncrowded weightable waters to net one of these great species. Why not come and drop a line to our finny friends and see how fall fishing in Orleans County swims with color? I love New York! Rush Outdoors is brought to you by Orleans County, Shadow Hunter Blinds, the New York Sportsman's Expo, Campbell Cameras, CVA, the resort at Snug Harbor, Tenzing Backpacks, Beretta Shotguns, Cutco Cutlery, Copper John Bowsights, Scent Lock. And the Marina Inn and Suites at Madison Barracks. One of the keys to success for any outfitted trip like this is, is hooking up with somebody that really is a pro uh, when it comes to chasing the critters that you're looking for. And the folks at the uh, Citrus County Convention and Visitors Bureau really recommended to us that we talk to Captain Jim Long with Homosasa Outfitters. And after spending a little time on the phone with Jim, uh, he had recommended that we talk to his gator guy, uh, Gary Mills Sr. Um, Gary is, is a, a Florida resident for life, and uh, in addition to being an outfitter for alligators, he's also the county's nuisance gator trapper. So you talk about a guy that doesn't just know alligators, he knows every square inch of that county like the back of his hand. And to say we were excited to get in the boat with him, well, that would be an understatement. gators will be laying on the bottom and as we drive by them the motor will make them crawl on the bottom and their bubbles come up so we're looking for a bubble trail that wide that just starts crawling across the bottom and then we'll snag that bubble trail. But we got out into that lake and within the first minute or two of getting on the lake everybody looked to the right and there he was, a monster gator. So while these guys are fighting this gator on the pole, I'm getting the harpoon ready, and uh, you know, the anticipation is high, your heartbeat's going, you know, you're getting excited. I mean, let's face it, this is a hunt that I've dreamed about since I was a little kid, and it looks like it's gonna happen. The hooks pop out, and that gator is gone. And you want to talk about going from the highest of highs to the lowest of lows. You know, here I am thinking that a, that a 35, 40-year-old quest is, is going to come to an end, and, and you're sitting there with nothing. You know, sometimes you get thrown a curveball, but you've got no choice but to go on, and that's exactly what we did. Hi, I'm Tom Petrie, General Manager of Campbell Cameras and Rush Outdoors Pro Staff. And when I want to know what's going on in the great outdoors of New York State, I turn to the New York Outdoor News. I hunt out of Shadow Hunter blinds because I think they're the best ground blind made today. Made right here in Michigan. All American made Shadow Hunter blinds are the very best. If you want to hunt out of the best, you need Shadow Hunter. Here's why. See that totally silent? You can open the plexiglasses wherever you want it. Same thing on the east windows, just totally silent. You have so much action as a result because the deer just come all the way around you. Hi, I'm Todd from the Thousand Island Bait Store. Come on in. Here at the Thousand Islands Bait Store, we pride ourselves in carrying just about anything. Rods and reels, we've got tons of them. Live bait, you name it, we've got it. Camping supplies, a wide selection of clothing, ice cold beverages, tackle. Nobody beats our inventory. Thank you very much for shopping the Thousand Islands Bait Store. 
Rush Outdoors is also brought to you by Thousand Island Bait Store, Muzzy Broadheads, Nikon Optics, Realtree, North Country Storage Barns, Hunter Safety System, Parker Crossbows and Red Hot Accessories, Pelican Products, Northeast Safes, The Rope Guys, Hunter Specialties, and Covert Trail Cameras. We spent the rest of the night cruising the lake, you know, shining the lights for eyes and... You know, just when we were thinking, you know, maybe it wasn't going to happen, uh, bam, there's an alligator. And uh, he's within range, and uh, we're just cruising along slowly with him. And, you know, little Gary was able to get a hook into him, and, and uh, the fight was on. It's a good one, yeah. Nice job, him. buddy. You got him. <laughs> Thank you, Gary. Dead in Gary the half. Keith. Yes, Appreciate it, brother. Nice job, guys. We had a big gator on with two hooks in him earlier. Show John how to put that Lost in. it right at the boat. Finally, to pull it all together. I just don't know how to describe the feeling that I had. I mean, this is this was quite literally a quest that, that I've had since, you know, I was knee-high to a grasshopper. When we were bringing that alligator into the boat, the feeling of euphoria, I just don't know, I just don't know how to describe it. I don't know that the words exist to describe it, but, but we had an alligator in the boat, and I can't thank Gary Sr. and Gary Jr. enough. I mean, they put forth an effort that was unbelievable. I mean, we had a, we had a chase boat, we had a second guy in our boat. We just had a crew of people really work to get us a gator, and, and that's just what these guys do. So now that we got our first gator tag filled, we got a little time to kill. And uh, so we went and talked to the Citrus County Convention and Visitor Bureau. And uh, they were able to hook us up with uh, Captain Jim Ferrier. He's a uh, local charter captain. And uh, he offered to take us uh, on a fishing charter for, for a day. You know, let's go chase after some redfish. You know, here we are in Florida, and uh, we got hooked up with Wild Bill's airboat tours. Really? An airboat? I mean, we've seen them on TV, but the actual opportunity to get in one of these boats and see what they can do, it's intimidating and it's impressive. For Citrus County, it's really a sportsman paradise. But let me tell you other things there are to do for families. We have fishing, we have kayaking, paddle boarding the Withacoochee River. Come visit the Homosassa Wildlife Ref Refuge to, to see manatees up close and personal with Lou, our hippo. Uh, we have red wolves here, also our one-of-a-kind 
Florida Panther. Hey John, great job, great gator. Once again, Citrus County, Florida proves to be the perfect vacation getaway with a little extra flair thrown in. Now it's time for this week's Colbert Corner brought by Colbert Scouting Cameras. This week we feature a turkey video sent in by field stamper Brian Kirby. It just goes to show you, Colberts aren't just for your whitetails. And when you want to know what's going on in your hunting property, look no farther than Colbert Scouting Cameras. Hi, I'm Victoria Furchaw, and we'll be back in 60 seconds with this week's Swing and a Miss, brought to you by Tim's Guns of Albert, New York. If you love to fish or hunt, you're going to love shopping at Herb Phillipson's. For all of your fishing and hunting gear, whatever the season, it's the reason to shop Herb Phillipson's. Pick up all the latest in fishing rods and reels, guns, ammo, and all the accessories you'll ever need for your next hunting or fishing adventure. Remember, we've got it. And you'll get it all at Herb Phillipson's. Low price fighter prices and more. There's a Herb Phillipson's location near you. Today I'd like to talk to you about cozy cabins from North Country Storage Barn. With seven styles of certified log homes and log cabins, you can find the camp or home that fits both your lifestyle and your budget. These Amish built cabins come with finished interiors, knotty pine walls, and multiple flooring options. And spacious rooms will give you plenty of comfortable living space. The full line of Amish built furniture, sheds, swing sets, and much more. Visit North Country Storage Barns today at one of three locations in Lowellville, Sandy Creek, Philadelphia, New York. Welcome to Swing and a Miss. This is a segment of the show where we feature footage of hunts that don't always go as planned. Rush on Cut member Shane Smith had a great accomplishment this past spring, achieving his Turkey Grand Slam. But as you might have guessed, the quest for the Grand Slam wasn't all peaches and cream. Hey Shane, congrats on the Grand Slam, but you didn't think we were going to let you off without showing the miss, did you? That's it for this week's Swing and a Miss, brought to you by Tim's Guns of Albert, New York. I'll catch you next week. Just imagine your next outdoor adventure in Wayne County. Nestled up to Lake Ontario, Wayne County offers unmatched fishing for salmon, trout, walleye, and bass, while later in the year, the lake and its bays and tributaries become a waterfowler's dream. With over 10,000 acres of prime public hunting, there are numerous opportunities to chase white-tailed deer, turkey, and small game. And after your outdoor adventure is complete, tour the historic Erie Canal or visit Sodus Point and experience delightful accommodations, fine dining, and plentiful gift shops. For more information, go to waynecountytourism.com. The resort at Snug Harbor is under new management and seasonal sites are available. The resort at Snug Harbor offers a unique and profound landscape. Nestled into a scenic hillside overlooking Mud Bay, the resort offers endless opportunities for fun and relaxation. Just minutes away, you'll always find something going on in beautiful Cape Vincent. Enjoy the magic of the Thousand Island region where world-class fishing, beautiful sunsets, and the majesty of the mighty St. Lawrence River await you. Here we go. <laughs> Perfect. Big old gobbler. <laughs> now that's a fish. going on Ken. Hey Dave, we got some fresh marinated bacon wrap venison backstrap on the big green egg tonight. Oh boy. We're gonna be eating good. Yes sir. Hey folks, welcome to Rush Uncut. I'm Dave Morgan and this is committee member Ken McMullen and we're here to explain to you what is Rush Uncut. Hey Dave, Rush Uncut is a unique opportunity where you the viewer can send in footage and have it featured on a great hunting show. Okay, Ken, now I know that meat's going to take a few minutes, so why don't we get into our first hunt. Who's our first Uncut member? Hey, Dave, we got Rush Uncut member Ray Reeves from Lock and Load Sporting Goods. He's filming Crystal Reeves on a whitetail hunt. Let's check it out. We've got a farm here in uh, central New York, and uh, we've got some nuisance tags for our or apple orchard. So tonight I have two team members with me. we got Aaron, and we've got the shooter tonight, which is Crystal. Hey. Nice one. Good shot. Nice. 
get it? Shot. Yes, yeah. you do. Oh, I got it. It's right in the shoulder. It's bleeding really bad. Look at that. She's a little excited. She just shot her first doe of the year. And we got Aaron, the little guide guy. And uh, of course, we have to uh, give credit to where credit is due. We were in our Shadow Hunter blind, a 6x6, fully insulated, aluminum, varmint proof, lightweight. I found and it! Where? Oh, there, I see it. I see it. Very good. Well, good job. Hey, congratulations, Crystal. Great job. That's right. Keep it coming. Right. Hey, hold on, Dave. Before we try this, let's check out another big green egg recipe. Ken, today we're going to do beer can chicken. Awesome. So we've got our chicken here. What we're going to do is we're going to, again, add some of our big green egg spices. Today's spice is going to be the Whirly Bird. It's an excellent spice to use with poultry, and it actually has maple sugar in there nice. uh, to give it a little bit of a sweet kick. What we're going to do is we're going to do a good coating over the entire bird in the cavity as well. The first thing we're going to do is actually separate the skin here away from the breast a little bit. Work your finger down in there, creating a little space that we're actually going to fill that with our spices. Yeah. So it kind of caramelizes the meat? And that definitely adds a little caramelization, makes it nice and crispy. And then we, by putting it down in there between the, the meat and the skin, it really it's trapped against there. Yeah. Yeah, all right, so we've got all of our spices on here. The next part now is gonna be our, our beer can. But if you look at the table, we kind of threw a loop for you here. It's a beer bottle. All right. What we're gonna be using, this is the larger one that's for a turkey. We have the smaller one outside cooking already with the chicken on it. This ceramic cup, the sitting chicken, or sitting turkey in this case, is gonna let us use a bottled beer, a craft beer, or anything else like bourbon and barbecue sauce. Yeah, pineapple or juice. pineapple juice, or seven up in fresh ginger. Any flavor combination that you put into the cup is then going to steam and flavor the bird as it sits there inside of the big green egg. We're going to head outside and check on that one and see how it's doing. Good deal. All right, Matt. It's smelling like Oktoberfest out here. How these chickens come? <laughs> yeah, let's take a look. That Adirondack lager is really starting to smell good. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's awesome. Wow, look at that golden skin on that guy. Perfect. Let's take the temperature here with our instant read thermometer and see if we're ready. What are we looking for? Well, we're looking for about 165, as long as you don't uh, take your chicken medium well. Yep. 154, so we got a little bit more to go here, buddy. Good deal. A few more minutes and we'll be dining. Yeah, that looks awesome. Great. Oh boy, I can't wait to try that. Hey, that looked awesome, Dave. Hey, uh, who do we got up next? Well, next we've got Rush Uncut Committee member Keith Bartholomew, and he's going to take us on an early spring trout fishing trip. Cool, let's check it out. We're fishing in upstate New York in a small tributary that goes into uh, Cuga Lake. Fishing for brown trout today. Uh, got salted minnows. Spring's finally here. Let's see if we can catch one. Look like at a nice native. Another nice one. Nice brown trout. Oh, it is. I got the beauty. I got the one. Bigger. Look at this fishing in New York, it's incredible. Right, I told you we got some of the best fishing here in New York State. That's a beautiful brown trout right there, people. Beautiful. That's the seventh one I've caught today. Yeah, that was great, Dave. Keith caught some nice fish that day. 
Very impressive, Keith. Keep it coming. Even easier than cooking good steaks on the green egg is becoming a Rush Uncut member. Why don't you tell them how, Ken? That's right, Dave. Just log on to RushOutdoors.com. Click on the Rush Uncut logo. Simple as that. Stop on down to the New York Sportsman's Expo at the New York State Fairgrounds, January 23rd, 24th, and 25th. That's right, Dave. The whole crew will be there. We're going to have seminars. you got to check it out. All right, Ken, I can't take it anymore. Let's dig into these steaks. Right on. Hey, folks, don't forget to rush outdoors with a camera. Rush on Cut is brought to you by The Big Green Egg and by Brian Hunt, Beck Equipment, Dovey Motors, The Dryden Hotel, Rick and Rich Towing, IBEW Local 43, The Snug Harbor Restaurant and Marina, Northeast Safes, McCoy's Construction, National Land and Farm, Carolina Carports, Earth's Balance Tick Releaser Spray, IBEW Local 1249. Hey, that's all the time we have for this week. For everyone at Rush Outdoors, I'm your host, Tim Andrus. We'll see you in the woods. For show updates, like us on Facebook and follow us on Twitter. You were hitting the Michael Darrow. Yeah. I'll laugh. Don't worry. <laughs>